Understanding the phrase, up one's nose, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today we're diving into an interesting English phrase, up one's nose. This expression can be a bit tricky for English learners, so we'll break it down and explore its meanings and usage. Whether you're a beginner or advanced learner, understanding such phrases is key to mastering the nuances of the English language. So, let's get started. Let's begin with the literal meaning of up one's nose. This phrase can conjure up images of something physically being in or moving towards someone's nose. However, in English, phrases often have both literal and figurative meanings. The literal interpretation isn't commonly used in everyday conversation, but it's a good starting point to understand the phrase's structure. Now, let's explore the figurative meaning. When someone says that something is up their nose, they usually mean that they are annoyed, irritated, or bothered by it. It's a way to express frustration about a situation or a person's behavior. For example, the constant noise from the construction site is really getting up my nose. This usage is informal and more common in British English. It's similar to other expressions like getting on my nerves or rubbing me the wrong way. To better understand, let's see some examples. 1. His arrogant attitude is really up my nose. Here, the speaker is annoyed by someone's arrogance. 2. The way she talks non-stop gets up my nose sometimes. This indicates that the speaker is sometimes irritated by her talking. Notice how the phrase is often used with verbs like getting or is to describe a state of irritation. Be cautious with this phrase. Since up one's nose is informal and somewhat colloquial, it's best used in casual conversations rather than formal settings. Also, be mindful of the tone and context, as it expresses annoyance, which might be perceived as rude in certain situations. I hope this video has cleared up the meaning and usage of up one's nose. Understanding such phrases is a great step towards fluency in English. Remember, language learning is all about exploring and enjoying the process. Keep practicing, and you'll get there. See you in the next video.